Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Dan Merkin here with my good friend Brad Williams, who's on another program, so we're not sure if it's the easiest thing to see. But anyways, you guys are watching my screen and my future jet. Brad, I had to remove the execution panel from the, um, from the boarding door. Cessna said uh, it was against their marketing. Um, Didn't want to take anything away from the, uh, the jet ambition. Uh, correct. But guys, so you're seeing us test brokerage plus work within the confines of our system, working with the AI and the overall market and just being able to do some amazing things. First of all, um, Brad had told me that I needed to, for proper disclosure, point out this grouping right here. So Brad, if you can fix your mic because you sound terrible, but maybe you can comment a little bit on um, on what you're seeing here in my uh, profit, and this is all real, non-paper trading, by the way. Yeah, maybe does that come through on your uh, on your screen on the video? Yeah. Yeah. So that information right there, there's a circle. That's the profit factor, and that's where the sum total of all the winning trades um, over the losing trades. So that's really a factor of just about six. So that's a that's a great number right there. Six x, and it's important to have a good successful number like that when your winning percentage is around 43, 45. And Brad, one of the things that I kind of think that people should realize is that the reason that it's 43 is you're going to see, look, you know, today's P&L. I do a lot of bobbing and weaving, as lots of investors do who are able to trade actively in low cost environments. So all of, the, by the way, what you're seeing here, this 750, that's net of commission. That's right. So in that bobbing and weaving, Dan, like you mentioned, I think that's indicative of this little statistic that we provide right here, which is taking a look at your average winner and comparing that to your average loser. And your statistics today in that department show that you're really cutting your losers quickly and not holding on to those uh, and let your, your, letting your winners run. And so that's what that statistic shows. Well, you're, Brad, you're 100% right. And it looks like we finished off of our highs but reducing our risk, really kind of letting things stable, uh, settle rather, uh, to just the winning trade. So that's the other thing, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna make sure you guys know that since we do this, uh, we obviously have to make sure that we provide an environment where people are not only day trading. Day trading isn't even a thing. Stay tuned for our podcast for more information on that. But the bottom line is, we create not only the technology, but the gateway to how to utilize it in the best way possible. And um, this is the close, Brad. Um, obviously, you know, after our prints, ticking, ability to trade in both directions. Here, you know, again, I can kind of go see just all my closed trades. And, and you can see my biggest winners were far bigger than my biggest losers. And because of the way the software works it allows you to kind of brag you know the beauty that i really enjoyed was that once you get into a trade and it goes the wrong way quote unquote right well you know you can switch directions that's the the what low cost environments are for and the one thing that i really like that you had mentioned brad is that people really need to pay attention to this part what i'm about to say look at the plus minus position uh column that we have right here see this these are points we are trading for points exactly so of course like so here kl this stock just doesn't move that much and i only have 127 shares um twitter i just got into this stock uh and i'm up 15 cents so that can be the spread but here look look how many i'm up 39 points in tesla which means that tesla could probably trade at any point in time a point wide so you have to keep that in mind and not be obsessed about those little things. Those are just kind of mental barriers for you to not be in trades. We're creating the real Ferrari right here, the thing that's going to show you the best way possible for you to navigate a fluid trading environment, and we're doing it by example. Brad, what, what, what a pleasure. And if I may here, I'll just finish up by uh, the jet. Mm. Uh, you know, the fruits of our labor, right, Brad? All right. Um, I want to thank 
everybody for enjoying the video. Notice guys, this is not paper trading, it's for real. <laughs>